kind of twirl it around in between your thumb and forefinger to get it heated nice and evenly. And after you do this for a few seconds, you'll find that the glass starts to lose resistance. And when that happens, you'll find that you can bend the glass oh, that is cool. quite easily. So this is one of the things you shouldn't try at home. Uh, please don't, Asia. I was about to ask you. Is that like a particular this glass? Is how, this is just glass. This is not uh, Pyrex glass or, or, or borosilicate glass, it's called. That's the glass that doesn't bend very easily. Okay? This glass is uh, just very simple glass. It's considered soft glass, but so bends pretty easily. Okay? Um, now, don't grab that and touch that. It's hot, of course. You just set that down for 10 minutes. Now, if you fire polish one end and let it sit for 10 minutes, fire polish the other end, let that sit for 10 minutes, and then fire and then bend that piece of glass, how long is that going to take you? 30 minutes. 40 minutes. About 30 minutes. Okay? And tomorrow's class period is about 55 minutes. So, there shouldn't be any problem with yeah. having enough time. Okay? That's really now, cool. Whenever you're in class tomorrow, make sure that you get a chance to kind of. Throw this bunch burn off a little bit. How do I turn it off? Do I just blow it out? I cut the gas, right? From there. Okay? Get a little practice lighting the flame. You turn the gas on, you light it. Okay? I love that off. lighter. It is cute. Okay? So that's the experiment for tomorrow. Any, any questions about how, how that's going to work? Are we all doing it tomorrow? Half of us will do it tomorrow, the other half of us will do it Friday. Let's go